Hello students, today we are going ahead with the story, The Ashes That Made Trees Bloom. In the first video, we have read that the wick old couple killed the dog as it did not help them to find treasure. Let's read and learn what had happened next. The owner of the dog heard of the death of his pet and mourned for him as if it had been his own child. Then he went to put flowers and bamboo sticks on the grave of his dog. He became very sad and mourned bitterly. After coming home, he dreamed about his pet dog. The dog spirit asked him to cut down the pine tree over his grave and make from it a mortar for rice pastry and a mill for bean sauce. Then the old man did as he was told. With much labor, he made a small bowl of the wood. Then he made a long handle hammer of the wood for pounding rice. When New Year's time grew near, he wished to make some rice pastry and bean sauce. When the rice was boiled, when the rice was all boiled, the old man put it into the mortar. The old man lifted his hammer to pound the mass into dough. When the old woman took the handmill and filling the beans began to grin. Suddenly, the whole mass turned into a heap of gold coins. Meanwhile, the envious neighbor peeped in at the window when the boiled beans were being ground. In a few minutes, the old couple were rich again. The next day, the wicked neighbor came and borrowed the mortar and mill to make a pile of gold. This time, the pastry and sauce turned into a foul mass of worms. They became more angry at this. They chopped the mill into pieces to use as firewood. Long after that, the good old man dreamed again and the spirit of the dog appeared to him and said that the wicked people burned the mill made from the pine tree. The spirit asked the man to take the ashes of the mill and sprinkle them on the withered trees. The old man again did what the spirit told him to do. The old man took his wife to the garden. It being winter, their favorite cherry tree and bear. He sprinkled a pinch of ashes on it. It sprouted blossoms and the air was filled with a sweet smell. The news of this filled the village and everyone ran out to see the wonder. Let's see what have we learned. So your today's question is, how did the spirit of the dog help the farmer first? Options are, the spirit of the dog appeared in his dream and asked him to cut the pine tree to make a mortar and a mill. The spirit helped the farmer find his gold coin that he had lost while working in the field. The dog spirit helped him find out the true intentions of his greedy neighbors or all of the above. The correct answer is, the spirit of the dog appeared in his dream and asked him to cut the pine tree to make a mortar and a mill. Second is, you have to complete this statement. So, here how the statement goes. The greedy couple borrowed the mill and the mortar to make dash. So, you have to fill this blank by choosing the correct option given below. Options are, magic cash to win reward, rice pastry and bean sauce, to use as firewood or a pile of gold. Your answer is a pile of gold. Next is, what preparation did the kind old couple make for the new year? Options are, to make delicious food, to make rice pastry and bean sauce, to decorate their house or to host a feast to their friends. Answer is, to make rice pastry and bean sauce. 
Now, your fourth question is, on which tree did the old man sprinkle a pinch of ash? Options are apple tree, cherry tree, neem tree or mango tree. Correct answer is cherry tree. Now, it's time to practice some questions from the story. Here we come to working with the story. Question number one is, how did the spirit of the dog help the kind old man second time? Question number two is, what was the reaction of the old man when his pet dog killed? Question number three is, why had the mortar and the mill been burned down to four ashes? You have to attempt these three questions by your own. Till then, be thankful, help everyone. Thanks for watching. See you in next video.